Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you some photos from my camera roll that you guys asked for on my Instagram story. So I posted a little poll and it says, show me a photo of dot 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 and then you kind of fill in the blank and I'll show you a photo of whatever you asked for. And I got so many really good requests for this. So I'm excited to show you guys the photos and go through my camera roll with y'all. I think me and Casey did this video during summer and it was really fun to just like show random photos that we had in our camera roll. So here's an updated one. Here's some new photos that I have in my camera roll. I'm gonna start with this one. It says a deleted Instagram post and the post that I'll show you is one from Halloween. So here's the photo that I deleted and I don't know why I deleted it. I just got insecure about it and I just wanted it off my Instagram. That happens to me a lot. So yeah, it's just a photo from Halloween. I was dressed up as a bunny and I think I wanted to delete it because that wasn't my costume that I really wanted to represent myself in. I wanted to be Rapunzel and not the bunny. So I guess that's why I deleted it. The next one, let's see. Oh, this one's kind of sad. You crying. I guess people want to see me crying, so here's a really good photo of me crying. I cry quite often, and I don't usually video or take photos of myself crying. I just feel like weird doing that personally, but I did take a photo of this one. This was a good cry that I had right before it coming back up to school. I don't know why I was crying in this photo. I think I was just really sad about it, like leaving my family and my friends at home. But here's the photo and that's me crying. <laughs> Your favorite pic of Buddy. So I love all photos of Buddy, but this one, let's see. I think, yeah, this one has to be my favorite. It's him just like with his mouth open and he's sitting on the floor and he was about to like jump to get a ball. So he just looks really, really happy and excited in this photo this was him as like a little baby puppy honestly this was before he was ever one years old and i think it's so cute i think he looks really cute here so this is my favorite photo of buddy and it was my lock screen for the longest time i just changed it recently but that was my lock screen too i love this question because i look at these photos all the time this one is you before you started to dye your hair i honestly look back at these photos and kind of like make myself think if i really want to be brunette again so here's a photo of me with like i'm pretty sure this is brunette hair i mean it could be considered dirty blonde but to me it looks pretty brunette in the photo so yeah this is the photo of me before i dyed my hair and then this is me with my hair dyed i need to get it dyed soon though because my roots are really dark but my hair is just so blonde now and sometimes i think about it and i'm like i kind of miss my dark hair i kind of miss it sometimes when you felt insecure. So for this one, I felt the most insecure, I think in like 2018, it was junior year of high school. And here's a photo I'm gonna show. Like as a junior, I was really, really insecure about myself and I did not like the way I looked. I did not like my personality. I was shy, I was weird. And yeah, so that is just when I felt the most insecure. And I feel like you can tell in the photo, like literally the way I'm standing is just so awkward and posed and uh, that's a really hard photo for me to look at. Definitely not my favorite outfit ever. That's, that's for sure. That's a rough one. Next picture time from a Harry Styles concert. So if you guys didn't know, I went to a Harry Styles concert recently, best night ever. Um, I guess I could show you like a photo of the actual like view that I had. So here's the photo of Harry Styles at the concert. I had a close up view to be honest and the seats were pretty inexpensive for where I was able to sit and I stood in line and waited at like the box office just so that I could get a ticket because I did not previously purchase one and let me just say it was the best night of my life. Like that night will forever stick with me. It was so amazing i love it next one your favorite outfit so let's see i think my favorite outfit has to be this one that i wore recently it's like a shirt that like kind of goes off the shoulder a little bit and it like ties up in the middle and then my favorite ripped jeans ever are these from american eagle and i wear them all the time but i just like the way that these two look together it was kind of like a fall but summer look you know, 
I don't know. I really like this outfit. And then I also was wearing like a brown purse with it, which didn't really match, but I liked it. <laughs> so here's the outfit and I'll probably end up wearing it again sometime, but I need to revamp my closet. Maybe I'll do a video on that. <laughs> Your fave hairstyle that you have worn. Oh, I have this one. I know what this one is. Okay. This is my favorite hairstyle that I've worn and I like really think it was from Ariana Grande that inspired me to wear my hair like this. I feel like this is like a signature hairstyle that she has. So I would like take my pieces of hair in the front and like tie them down and then take the rest of it and put it up in like a pigtail. And yeah, it was my favorite hairstyle ever. I haven't done this in a while. So now that I'm looking at it, I feel a little bit inspired to do this hairstyle again and now my hair is longer, so it might look better. I don't know. It's cute. I like this hairstyle. Casey suggested this one. She said, Somewhere You Love. And here's the photo I'm using for it. It is Marco Island, and here's a really pretty sunset. And I love this picture. It is actually my lock screen currently. So yeah, this is somewhere that I love to be. And honestly, the beach in general is somewhere that I love. And I don't live near the beach anymore. So for me, it's kind of sad like i miss the beach and when i get to go to the beach i remind myself of all the fun times i had at the beach and how much i took it for granted and i wish i hadn't because now i don't get to go anymore but i love the beach and especially marco island beaches so so pretty i like this one this person said the last thing you saved in your snap memories so let me look the last thing i saved was this photo of me and buddy from today after i went to the doctor's <laughs> I actually took this photo and I was in a horrible mood and now I'm in a great mood so a walk can change in a day and yeah wow he looks really cute in it I look really mad <laughs> next one you and your big and your little okay this photo is from a dance competition we had my little danced so here is the photo you guys can see the whole fam I love them so much. My little and my big are two of my closest friends and I'm just so grateful to have them in my life because they both are so sweet and cute. Like, aw, I love this photo. I love it. Your smile, XOXO. I love you so much. I love you too. Let me see. I kind of want to show this photo, but it's weird because like it was like a filter I used and my face is also the background image. So yeah, but here's the photo and here's my smile. <laughs> I guess I could have used a different photo, but I like this one. So here it is. Here's my smile. I also just made a whole TikTok on photos of me smiling. So I kind of had this one in my recents. I like screenshotted it. Your favorite person. So this one was hard for me to choose because honestly, my favorite person is not just one person. I love a lot of people in life, but if I had to say one person was my soulmate and someone that like was just my best friend, I'd say it's Casey, honestly. So here's a photo of me and Casey from like very recent when she came up to visit me at school and like being away from her has made me realize how much i miss her so much and i don't know like we have grown up and done so much together and i just feel like that is the most bonding thing ever like i'm so bonded to my sister because of everything we've been through together and i just love her so much so casey if you're watching this I could cry about how much I love you and I miss you. As I'm getting all upset and emotional, let's move on to you at your happiest. So here's a photo of me at my happiest. I, <laughs> I was in a dress for recruitment and it was recruitment week and I honestly was going through a lot previous to this week, but this week really taught me a lot about myself and I was just so excited to be back at school, back with all my friends, and we were doing stuff every day, so I was busy every day, and yeah, I love like recruitment week and hanging out with all my friends, and I also was like moving into my new apartment during this week, so that was also super exciting. When I got into my apartment, that was probably the happiest day, like I just felt so independent and felt like it was a new step and new chapter in my life. So yeah, I feel like I've been at my happiest ever since. I'm really thriving this year, which is good. And I've found out a lot more about myself that I didn't know. And 
I don't know. I feel like I've become more independent and definitely more happy and less anxious. That's a good one. I was not anxious at all for that entire month that I just showed this photo in. Yeah, that was a good month for me. Your best friends. Okay, this one, I'm gonna show this photo, but I have many more best friends not pictured here. But these are some of the people that I hang out with all the time, some of the people I have classes with, and they're all in my sorority, but we are all just super close, and I definitely could call each and every one of these people my best friends. And I could also call my big and my little my best friends, and Casey my best friend, and my roommate my best friend. Just, I feel like I have so many best friends, but this is one of my favorite photos, so I'll just show it anyways. You and your best friend. So, <laughs> I know I've said I have a lot of best friends, but if I could choose one of them that I spend the most time with, and I really do consider to be, like, one of my greatest friends and greatest influences, it would be my roommate. And here's a photo. She is always there for me. She's so motivational. She helps me up when I'm feeling low. And I just honestly don't know what I would do without her here. Like, she's my rock. And this is her. This is the photo. That's my best friend. But I feel that way about everyone. I love all of my best friends. But this is one of my best best friends. We're heading down to a suggestion of a photo that I have been hiding. I've been keeping a secret. So this one says, your boyfriend, and I could count like 30 plus people who wrote your boyfriend on this. So I guess if you guys really want to see him, I guess I could put a photo of him in here. So here's the photo I'm going to show you for now. Um, it's a little secretive, I guess. It's us walking through Universal. And yeah, so I do have a boyfriend and I have known him for like eight or nine months now but we started dating about like two months ago. So yeah, I'm in a relationship and so happy and he is amazing. I'll get into that probably in another video. This is the last one. I wasn't gonna save the boyfriend one for last just cause I don't want you guys to think I'm trying to save it and hide it. So here is the actual last photo I'm gonna show and it's my favorite food. So here is like a meal that I have in college. It's pasta and a chicken salad that's usually like a dinner that i'll make and that's probably my favorite food i love pasta still pasta is just so easy to make and so fast but i also still love chick-fil-a and chipotle and pizza and just everything but if i had to choose one that i would choose for dinner tonight for example it would be pasta so those are all the photos that i'm going to show you guys for now and this video was so much fun to get to go through my camera roll and show these photos to you guys and thank you guys so much for giving me all these suggestions on my instagram story could not have done this video without you guys so thank you it was a lot of fun and if you guys like videos like these please give this one a big thumbs up and please let me know in the comments below what other types of videos you would like to see me and Casey post. I am going to be going home for winter break so we'll be together for some time hopefully and also Thanksgiving break I'll be home so yeah maybe we'll do some videos together but for now we're separate. This is kind of like a life update video as well because I feel like I'm showing you guys like my friends and things that I've done recently and some of my favorite things. So this was a good way for me to update you guys on my life and give you guys a little secret that I've been hiding. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're new to our channel or haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye.